Hello people, my name is Prakash Mitani and today I'm going to talk about how you can create navigation for your website using HTML and CSS3. So this kind of navigation I want to create for my site that is a horizontal navigation. If I hover the down, so the navigation should come up like this and it should be expanded the one more level. So how we can create this kind of navigation, we'll talk about that. So first of all, what you need is you need to create a folder there. So I have created a folder with the name of nav in my desktop and inside that i will create two files that is one is index.html and one is for css file so how i can create that first of all i'll open my code editor that is sublime text i'm using and i'll create a tab there i'll save my file with the name of index.html in my nav folder here once it is saved i'll create another file and I'll create a folder inside that particular nav folder and I'll give the name it CSS and inside CSS I'll create a file global.css so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create HTML here and I'm gonna put my CSS file here and I'll link my CSS file to my index.html so first of all I'll create a HTML structure there and inside my head section I'll create a link tag to link my CSS to this particular document and in the href section I'll put the location of my CSS file that is inside my CSS folder right so what I have to do I have to just type the name CSS folder forward slash and write my file name global.css alright once it is there now in the body section i'm going to create an unordered list with ul tag and inside that i'll create few li tag to start with just copy and paste the number of li you need and put some name on that like home about product reason contact and more when that is done just run your index html file with one of your browser i'm running in a chrome so first of all this is the first look how it's your ul unordered list look like it's a journal how it look like so now what we have to do is i have to go in my code section so first of all i'll put a star over here so star means it is selecting all the element in html and I'll put some css code here for that so first of all i'll put the margin zero and i'll put padding zero so right now if i go in my browser section you can see that it's taking the default padding here in ulnli and if i refresh that now you can see that how it's your home about and all these things coming up here because i have just replaced margin and padding zero right <clears throat> and inside that i'll create my body text body tag and I'll put some background color to my body section that will be e5 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 and this is how your background will look like now we have put background color now it's time to create a class in my ul section so I'm gonna give name to this particular ul <coughs> A name so that is nav and I'll define a nav class here by ul dot nav when I put the ul dot nav that means in the particular ul I'm providing a class nav and further I can just nest it like ul and li so when I put that ul dot nav space li that means all these li will be covered up in this particular <clears throat> line of code 
so this is our <coughs> nav class i've created so i'll now put some line of code here so first of all i'll make it float left so that all my element will come in the left section and i'm gonna make in the star section list style type that is none so that means are all <coughs> the circle are now gone and now i can provide a background color to this particular ally so what background i'm gonna put is i have some background color here and i'm gonna put that background color code now this is how my background look like <coughs> and i will provide this ally a width that means if i provide 100 pixel width so every ally is now 100% more right so I can provide it 120 pixel so I provided 120 pixel there and now I can provide height let's suppose I provide height 35 pixel you can see that how can we provide height and you can see that the text is coming on the top so to make it center I'll create a line height section and i'll provide the same line height as i provided the height so that it will come in the center now the text is coming on the center and i will give a border left one pixel solid with the white color you can see that <coughs> that's how it look like and now the text is coming on the left hand side I have to just make it on the center so I'll make text align center here now you can see that it look good and I can also change my color for this particular ally and I'll create it in a white section right so now your <coughs> first horizontal navigation is ready and <clears throat> this is how your code look like i have just i have just created what i have done that i have created a nav class here and inside that nav we have few allies and i have put some style over these allies and how it's look in my browser right so now what we have to do in the region section we have to create another drop down and we have to <coughs> list the region there so i'll go in my this particular region ally after the region I'll hit enter and inside that particular region I'm gonna create a, another UL so this is the nested UL I'm gonna create and inside that UL I will create my ally section here right and I'm gonna name these regions so I'm gonna name that US EMEA LATAM and Asia all right so if I go in my browser section right now so this is how your regions look like <coughs> it's coming straight down there in the region sections which we have provided what we want but now by default it's showing us that when I refresh the region is coming down there. so what I want that by default my region should be disabled and when I hover on this particular region section then only it will show me so first of all first of all I'll provide a background color to this particular <coughs> region section so this is my I'll create a class here also that is my region class and inside that i will go to my css and i'm gonna create another ul dot region class and inside that i'm gonna give this particular name all right so what will the background color of our region is background I 
I will add this to my ally section and will remove it from here because we are providing to allies <coughs> and I'll put a border top and that is one pixel solid with my white color now you can see that this is how it look <coughs> in the region section and what I want it should be by default display none all right and <coughs> on which this particular what I want that when I hover on this particular region section it should be displayed so I will just add an ID to this particular region and I'll put it region 1 and I'll go in my CSS section so what I want that <coughs> on the region 1 selection on the region 1 hover this is my ID type on the region one hover what should be displayed is my <coughs> region class right this region class should be displayed which we have by default make display none so you have to on the region one hover space region will be displayed here make it display and block we will tell that how it's work if I go to the region it's showing me this particular section and if I remove the over it will remove that so this is how it work and one more level we have to create when I hover on particular the region it should show me the country name on that particular region so let's suppose I'm creating a country name for the Asia region and I'll go in the Asia section here and inside that Asia section I'm gonna further create a unordered list and I'll create my ally tag here so I'm gonna name some few countries here first I'll put India Pakistan Sri Lanka <coughs> China and now if you go to your region section you can see that the india pakistan sri lanka and china is coming just down there i don't want that what i want that it should be come on the right right hand side of this particular section so for that purpose <coughs> i will name this class as country this ul as a country section and i'll create a <coughs> ul dot country class over here and for this li section i'll also create dot li class and i'll put the margin left for this particular ul is my 120 pixel which is the default width i have provided to my section now if you go there you can see that the asia is just coming down after this particular section right but what is happening there it's not coming like equal to asia section so what i have to do is now i have created this ul inside my region class so what I'm going to do, <coughs> this region, I'm going to make it position 
relative we'll see then how it goes on and I'll make it position absolute and if I go there it's coming down there and I'll put now top 0 I'll see that how it's work on now you can see that Asia is coming just after India is coming just after the Asia and this is how your multi navigations work and what I want now that if I go to region and if I go to particular Asia then only this section should be displayed so what I'll do that <coughs> I will create a ID for this particular Asia that is Asia itself and on the creation on the hover of Asia the country should be displayed so what I'll do on the Asia hover I'll copy this country class and put the dot in front of this and we'll make it display block and by default in this country section I will make it display none right so now you go to particular region section and now in the Asia section there is nothing showing up right now but when I hover my mouse there you can see that all these countries are coming up here so this is how it's work and this is your navigation how it's work so it's a pretty simple few line of code you can create your own navigation it's pretty simple pretty easy you don't need to put too many things over there and get confused over the things it's just that simple so let me know in the comment sections how you like it if you need a code for this particular section let me know i'll provide it seems thank you so much have a good day